Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I'm Gene. Thanks for tuning in multicasting. Uh, we're going to do a rye for you today, Gene, well, if that's all right. Well, I'll do it. Uh, three chord rye. The all right, all rye. right, all right. Heck yeah. Multicasting.com. Check out our shirts if you like. <laughs> um, I don't, I'm always scared I'm going to pop you in the face when we. Let's not do that. Put some. Boom. Uh, so this is the three chord amplifier rye. This is a four year. They previously had some two years. Previously had some three years. This is a four year offering for a three chord with a mash bill of 95, five. Mm. 95% rye, 5% malted barley mist gene with the ABV, a cast strength. Cast strength. Cast strength. Cast strength. ABV. Yeah, 58.7, carry the two, 117.4 per roof. Um, this is a uh, Total Wine store pick, so shout out to Total Wine, I guess. Hey, maybe they'll give us some free whiskey. No. Um, distilled in Indiana, so I'm guessing that's MGP juice or Ross's squib juice. No, this would have been MGP still, so yeah. It's earthy on the nose. Earthy clove spearmint. I'd, I'd actually put this as peppermint instead of spearmint. I'll give you a morphine of the two. You know, morph them too? Morph the two, you know, I morph, shall. Not morphine. Not morphine. You're not going to morphine it. No, I'm a mighty Power Ranger morph it, whatever the morph thing is. I never watched that show. Somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. Morph yes. Rangers? I don't know. This is a rye, unmistakable rye on the nose. You got your clove, you got your earthiness. You got some kind of a mint, whatever that is. Yeah, you got a mint. It's, it's, I'm sure it's MGP 95.5. There's um, like a sweet lemon drop. You know those lemons that are covered, the, the, yeah. the, the lemon drop that's covered with the sugar? I ate the hell out of those when I was seven. There's a bit of a, uh, a Tootsie Roll note there. For I'm getting some chocolate, some caramel actually, which I don't normally get on a 95.5 rye, but it is there. Hmm, I'm going in. How's it going there? Uh, if you have you had three chord, if you had what's your favorite? I think this is the second or third we reviewed here on the channel. Is that cast string getting you? Dang! <laughs> Mama like a pepper. Woo! Hmm. I like it. So you got your spices, you got your clove, you got your... Wow. It's not peppermint on the tongue. It is spearmint on the tongue. Yeah. It's lemon. It's all of the rye notes with a bit of caramel and toffee mixed in. It is. There's For me, it opens up that 95.5 rye that we all know and I love um, and instantly transitions into strong peppers mm. uh the, the the cast strength is showing there on the mid palate cranks up and then morphs to me into a tootsie roll chocolate uh finish which i'm all about uh all smothered on a freshly toasted piece of rye bread and for some reason at christmas time comes to mind i feel like i just swashed around mouthwash, mouthwash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll take some of that. Mm. Yep. Rye forward on the open. Instantly transitions to the peppers like clockwork. There's my Tootsie Roll note. There's my rye bread. And for some reason, Christmas time spice is predominant on the uh, finish. I'm all about that finish. That is an awesome finish. Making my mouth salivate. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be because it's a cast strength. Maybe I'll do two drops. I did a hefty. Do I did two. a hefty drop? You see, you did you did it wrong last time. You know what we're gonna do? Hmm. We're gonna put that right there in front of you. Right I like there, that. So I don't spill anything. I like that. So we're, we're re redoing the bar. Uh, it's coming along nicely. Subscribe to the channel so you can watch us progress. You can go back and watch a few other videos to see this as a even more raw than it is now. Hmm. But yeah. We'll, we'll have this done within the next eight weeks. Yeah. Unfortunately, Christmas, that time of year, we had to stop and pay attention. Holidays, to yeah. I mean, it's not Christmas yet, but holidays. Decorating the yard with Christmas lights. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a fun time. Water did nothing for me, oddly enough. I no. thought it would. Um, might have tamed some of those notes that I was getting, actually. I, I don't get as many of them on my nose anymore. Now, actually, I'm getting like an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Caramel. Huh. 
So the caramel and the toffee is actually coming through now, which is peculiar. For, I'm gonna get some notes I don't normally get with the 95.5 from it from Indiana. Well, I put a really hefty drop of water in mine, and it because it, I wanted to make it a little bit. I wanted to bring it down, and it did. It, and now mm. it's creamy, but it's not whipped. It's creamy, but not light and fluffy like I like it to be. It's weird. You like what to be light and fluffy? After I when, when I want a creamy, when I say creamy in my on my mouth, I think of you know like a yogurt type of whipped. I actually thought water would do more for me. What all it did for me was it cranked up the peppers, and I actually uh, see clove is my favorite note to get in a in a rye. Yeah. Um, this is a solid rye. Four year old, so they're they're bumping up their age statement from their from the normal. Um, boom. Eighty nine. What'd you do? Eighty eight. We've we've been getting closer and closer of late. Uh, yeah, this is a solid uh, ride. It's cast strength. It's four years old. I'm a guest. You're gonna tell me I spent fifty five dollars on it. Would be my guess. Fifty one. Really? Yeah. Look at me. Uh, worth it. Yeah. yeah. Well, fifty one's not bad price for this at all. No, and I well, I'm a I'm a huge fan of the 955, mm -hmm. and I, I'm even a bigger fan of a 955 when we all know it's from MGP or Ross and Squibb, and they do something to make it taste completely different. So there are some notes on here I don't normally get on the 955, so I'm digging it. You think that, Jean? No. No, good job. No. She, she's a woman of few words, folks. <laughs> uh, let us know down in the comments uh, what you uh, what you want to see about the bar. We're getting a, some good names. Uh, We've been asking people, Gene. You, mm -hmm. You've been here for that. Yeah. What do you think we should name the bar? We got some good names. Mm -hmm. One was the the Midwest Rendezvous. Uh, one says, "Hey, if it's in your basement, have it something to do with the, the Down Under Bar." Ah. So, um, so we're getting some good names. Uh, one said, "Hey, Gene's Irish. You need to have the, the pub the word pub involved." So, which all good comments. So, what do you think we should name the bar? Let us know down in the comments. I'm Charlie. I'm Gene, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. We should name it mine. <laughs> wow. Water just changed that. After it sat for a little nice while, right? Nice and creamy, right? yeah.